Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Taurus. I don't want you to think, this seems very specific to somebody, that having some kind of spiritual download or encounter has to be something like, scary okay um i feel what i'm picking up on let me just put that away for a second is some some of you now whatever um shift you're going through it's like the universe god source um is going to start communicating with you more directly or you're gonna start, okay, so it's something about confirmations. You're gonna start receiving confirmations for something. Like when you have a question, okay? Some people may say, oh, you know, I had a dream or I had a question. I see it in my comments all the time. Like I have a channel message. People say, I just asked about this in my dream. And you know, some, you know, some people are, prophets you know god will deliver a message through prophets that will give certain people answer maybe some of you have the like a prophetic gift that you're coming into more of an awareness of or for some of you again it's just, you're going to start receiving some kind of signs symbol synchronicities downloads or whatever it's go you're going to be able to confirm your messages better I don't know if this is coming through your dreams. Um, for some of you, it's something significant, maybe about birds, feathers. It could be angel numbers. Some of you could be getting into numerology. Whatever it is. If, if this resonates, please let me know in the comments because I'm getting a lot of stuff. Four, look at that, four swords. I told you, four swords. So maybe when you're sleeping or when you're um, in prayer or meditation, when you're resting, you're gonna start receiving some kind of boom, epiphany, revelations, downloads. So some of you, it could be, you may start having prophetic gifts or dreams, the king of wands. So you're gonna start taking action based on whatever this is. King of wands is a very fiery passion energy. Tower, this Scorpio, somebody could have um, fire in their chart and Scorpio. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio. It feels like what I'm seeing right now, though, even just looking at just strictly the images on the cards, somebody is going to start having spiritual downloads, maybe through dreams or in meditations or seeing signs, symbols, images, or something. It's going to be telling you of situations that are happening, future predictions. And, and, and remember I said it, it's not meant to be scary, but I feel like somebody's gonna start receiving warning messages. Ace of Wands, this is new. This is new. And you have your hand on the wand. This is a new gift. Magician. Here's the Three of Swords. Oh, wait a minute. For some of you, you've already had a dream or a download possibly about this Three of Swords here. This could have to do with a person being sick, transitioning or something like that. That could have scared somebody. The fact that you you saw this happening, the star card is here. Somebody here, you're meant to see things to heal. The star, it's a forward thinking energy. The star is like Aquarius energy. You're gonna whatever this gift is that you have or that you're coming into. I'm, I have to be honest with you. You're going to have to be able to somewhat detach emotionally because this gift is something that is meant to 
help you help yourself, maybe in, in others, somebody here is going to start receiving warning messages, like channel messages of warnings. And it's even so if you're even if you are somebody now who receives messages, like I said, you're going to start getting more confirmations or maybe if before you didn't want to see certain things, maybe you're at a place in your journey now where spirit is like, okay, maybe if you're the type of user, you've, you've all only seen the good cookie cutter life stuff, you're going to start seeing more. You're going to see some things that actually could be heartbreaking. So somebody's third eye is becoming more active or somebody's third eye might be even, oh yeah, five of cups. Five of swords. Okay. So you're going to get confirmation that you may have predicted or prophesied something. It's going to come true. It may not have anything to do with you, but you told somebody something or somebody out here has predicted something or you could, you could have even heard a reading that has something to do with a group of people, a group of magicians, people who were doing something that was really shady you're gonna and you may have walked away from these people or you told somebody to walk away from a group of people mm -hmm. you're about to receive confirmation or somebody right now is receiving confirmation that something that you said or that you predicted is coming true so for some of you if they say for instance if you have spiritual gifts and you question them you're about people are about to start confirming hey what you said was true you, if you say, oh, you know, I, I thought that, you know, I saw a, a, a earthquake. You're going to start saying on the news, boom, it was an earthquake or whatever the case may be. But this could be something affecting your own, in your own life. You could have told a person you need to move away from something, walk away from their job, their situation, their partnership, their group or whatever. Somebody probably didn't listen. You're going to get confirmation. There, there is something here that is tragic. It doesn't have anything to do with you. The Tower of Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, if this is a gift you have, ooh, this could put you on the map. I feel like right now I'm talking to like a reader or a spiritual, a psychic. You may be questioning, like, am I really good? You know, are my predictions, are they to be trusted? With the Nine of Pentacles and the Emperor and the Tower here, whatever this is that you're doing or sharing, your gift is strong. You're having some very, very, very strong revelations here with the Tower. And I'm telling you, look, Ten of Cups. This can bring you a lot of happiness and wish fulfillment. Justice. Yep, you're going to move forward in life with whatever this is. Now, if you don't really resonate with like the whole spiritual um, development or gift thing, something is just blowing up that you saw coming or predicted. And what's about to come in now is you having wealth, stability, living a very comfortable life. But it does have to do with a prediction from something. Like I said, it could've, you could have listened to a reading and a reader could have said, somebody is going to be removed from your life, blah, blah, blah. And you may have been like, I just don't see it happening. It's been years. This person is still tormenting me. I don't know, whatever. You're about to get confirmation. They're like, no. It's over. Look at that. Four of Wands and the Sun. Dang. And the Ace of Pentacles. I listen. You saw I set the deck down because I knew what I was picking up just intuitively. And the cards are just, yeah. King of Wands, Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Sun. 
Knight of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. What I, So you've been told or advised or you've seen it in a dream, better days are ahead. And they are. You're about to get confirmation. Whatever the burden has been in your life is coming to an end. There's a passion, new beginning here. You're going towards your destiny. Yep. No more hiding in the secret. No more hiding. No more secrets. No more illusions. Nine of Cups. The Knight of Swords, the Hangman, and the Three of Wands. Some of you, what this is, is, um, listen to that, what this is, is, <laughs> this sounds so silly, right? <laughs> Some of you have been, um, worried that you're, you have a person that you want to connect with who is not awakening because of them not wrapping up cycles. The world card is here there is going to be some kind of elevation or an upgrade. A cycle is closing. I really wonder what this is. Something here, yeah, the lovers. It is, it's about a person. You were losing hope in this situation. The Seven of Pentacles is here in the reverse. You had lost hope. You felt like something here just wasn't gonna happen, but no, somebody is actually doing the, the work. They're going within their healing to make sure that there's victory and success here. You don't see this coming, this transformation, but there is a brand new beginning here. You don't see it. Somebody here, you really were under the impression that something was just not going to happen. Like you've been watching readings and getting predictions of your own. Look, it's a spiritual transformation. The death, the high priestess, and the fool. Also for some of you, if there has been a witch, wizard, warlock, or somebody else in your energy that has been creating endings is coming to an end. And that's maybe what you're about to get confirmation of. You may have been like, when is this energy gonna finally be gone? Like, when is this person gonna leave my energy? Is it ever gonna stop? Will it ever end? King of Swords, Nine of Swords, the world. Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. Somebody was not letting go of something. They weren't giving up. They were not healing, growing, or evolving. Here's this Queen of Wands, the Devil and the Queen of Cups. I have a reading that I recently did, and I was saying a masculine for sure. Look at this, Six of Cups and the uh, Ace of Swords. There's a masculine who has an ex lover, a family member or somebody who has been in the background sabotaging them and their life for a long time. They've been in an ongoing battle. If you are connected to this person, you probably have just given up and, and felt like they're just not going to ever wake up. They're never going to see something for what it truly is. No. This reading right here is your confirmation that if you have been dealing with a masculine who you know is on their divine path, but for some reason they are constantly being delayed and you can't seem to figure out why, but perhaps you know that there is somebody in the background of this person's life sabotaging them what spirit is, is showing me and making it clear is you were not meant to be the one to expose this person to whoever this masculine or feminine is whoever it is it's not your job to tell them who this is that is in the background in their life sabotaging them they themselves have to figure this out and learn it Somebody here has a hidden enemy. And if you're dealing with this person, you know that it's somebody around them that's no good. They themselves, they're going to have to look this snake in the face and see it. Because whoever it is, I'm telling you, 
this same situation has been coming out for weeks and Pluto just went recently went direct. Somebody has been in the background of a person's life doing everything to maintain power and control. And they've been laughing and grinning and smiling in a person's face. And whoever this are picking up mainly a masculine, they are refusing to see it. Somebody does not realize that their sister, a close friend, um, an ex-wife, ex-lover, a mother, somebody has been completely destroying this person's life. And they cannot, they can't fathom it. They can't believe it. Spirit is coming in here and they're going to have to rip the veil from in front of this person's eyes for them to see the truth. This is not going to be something pretty. I can let you know that now. It's not. Mm -mm. But it's necessary for this tower, this argument, breakup, divorce, or whatever, is necessary for this person to finally have justice, to finally have happiness. This masculine for some, because I'm picking up a masculine, this person keeps on being controlled and sabotaged in their relationships with very um, self-sufficient, abundant feminines by this queen of wands in the background. And for some reason, I don't feel like it's an ex-lover for some people. Yeah, for some, but for some, this is a family member. This is like a sister or a cousin or somebody that has been in the background of this man's life making sure that they leave behind and break up and sabotage every single good connection that they have with good potential life partners. This person, because the other reading I was like, this person better hurry up and wake up. So if you're dealing with this person and they keep sabotaging your connection in a way, or they just can't seem to get on the same page, there's about to be a huge revelation that a person is going to have. Somebody has to be exposed. And I feel like you told this person, like, I'm telling you, you need to be careful with their friend, their homegirl, your, you know, are you sure that you can really trust your sister or, you know, you probably told, and they was like, no, like, why would you say that? They probably got mad at you. They're going to find out the hard way. Page of Swords, King of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody has been watching this masculine. Trying to make them miss out on opportunities. That's what this Queen of Wands has been doing. And that Queen of Wands could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but it could be any sign. They do not want, they want this person completely closed off to becoming the King of Cups and receiving love. This is the second reading I've done picking up this same energy. And I had another reading with the King of Cups, King of Pentacles. It's a, it's like a family member. Somebody doesn't want a person to choose love. They want a person to choose somebody that either has a lot of money or will bring them wealth or somebody that is, you know, the, the family accepts or whatever it is. But somebody has been in the background um, <laughs> just sabotaging somebody's life because they want this person to pick a certain kind of person. It's almost sick, but it's like for somebody to be this involved with somebody's life, you would, I, it's like, I will hope that is not a family member because if that's the case, this is like a family member who was so obsessed that they themselves feel like they are supposed to be dating this person or you. It's some, it's very weird, whatever this is. If it's a family member, it, it's somebody wants too much control over somebody. This is like a parent who feels like their child is their, their spouse or a sibling who wishes that they could date their 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 sibling. It's weird. Very weird. I don't know if this is just a person who is very narcissistic and wants 
power and control, but there is a romantic component here. Or somebody just wants to control a person's love life. Whatever it is, it's, I don't like it. But some, look, five of pentacles. Somebody is constantly leaving people in the cold or being left out in the cold because of this obsession with this past lover or family member. The Hierophant. This family. Six of Pentacles. Because somebody wants a person to give them something or be generous to them or their family or, or whatever. Page of Wands. Look at that. Empress, Six of Swords, Two of Cups. Somebody just doesn't want somebody to be married. They don't want it. They do not want you or whoever is connecting with you. They, somebody does not want two people to come together because they want this person for themselves. Or they want this person's money or something. You know, this could be a family member who is relying on their son or daughter to help them take care of, you know, finances or the family members or an elderly parent, whatever. Somebody just feels like if a person were to fall in love with somebody, that it's going to get in the way of something that they themselves have plans for you or your person to do. I don't know if they want to, like I said, take money from you. Let's see. Ace of Cups in the reverse. They don't want you to have love. They want you sad. They don't want you to have kids. They, they, like This card says infertility. They don't want you receiving love or giving your love to anybody. Wow. Five of Pentacles. So they want you in poverty. The Five of Pentacles just fell on top of the Five of Pentacles. Two different decks. Somebody wants you in poverty from the Hierophant, which is a card usually that, you know, would suggest even marriage. Somebody does not want you to get married. This whole you fall in love and have marriage for some of you kids somebody is doing everything that they possibly can to make sure that that never happens and for some of you this tragic thing is if somebody keeps doing this and they have children the bad energy that they're sending out to you and your connections is going to affect their children it's going to affect their finances their family but specifically something is going to happen to somebody else's child because of the evil eye that they keep sending you. Because somebody is, is possibly even doing like moon magic. They don't want you to have any fertility. They, they don't want you to produce anything that is abundant. So if the, even if this is like a masculine whose family is doing this to a divine feminine, they better be careful. King of Pentacles. Somebody is going from being in poverty to having security and stability. And look, the King of Pentacles just came out with the Queen of Pentacles. So whoever is constantly trying to sabotage this King and Queen of Pentacles by causing them to turn cold or leave one another out, have financial hardships or whatever so that they don't love one another, whoever this is, they're, they're, they're really going to be in trouble. Nine of Wands. Because it's King and Queen of Pentacles, they're resilient. They may be feeling drained as the wounded warriors, but they're not backing down because they're meant to be together. The Four of Wands. They're meant to build something. So at this point, the Seven of Wands is in the reverse here with the Justice. And here's the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody is going to have to finally just give up. The tower is here in reverse with the seven of swords. Somebody is going to have to just admit that they've been defeated and that they are not going to sabotage this connection. And I posted, I uploaded a reading like that today. No amount of drama, karma, or, drama, uh, or trauma 
is going to stop certain people from being together. Somebody keeps doing everything to delay this. But the cards are here saying it again, the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody has, has really, really been invested in blocking something. But the Seven of Pentacles is a person also being very patient and continuously nurturing something. It's two people here, whether they know each other yet or not, who are constantly nurturing themselves, who still believe in love, and they're gonna receive justice. And somebody here who is refusing to accept this change, which is that somebody is coming together and I said child, this could even be somebody's child who is constantly blocking their relationships and connections, they're gonna have to stop. This could be somebody's young child, an adult child, a parental figure or whomever. Whoever keeps on though trying to stop two people from coming together, they are only trying to delay something that is inevitable. But somebody keeps on doing this because they're trying to avoid a loss. So somebody is, is harvesting a person's energy or something. And that's the reason why they don't want them to be in another connection. Judgment. Yeah, they're facing judgment, though. You have judgment and justice out here. I really wonder why, because somebody really does not want a person to get in a relationship. Five of Wands. Conflict. This person is, is creating conflict, obstacles, challenges. They're arguing with you. There's disagreements. It's a power struggle. You're probably going to see this person become very aggressive. They may lose their temper. I'm hearing like they, they will become very defensive and just lash out at you about this connection. The Hierophant. It's like, <laughs> this is you battling. This isn't even a person. It's a person, but this is a principality. Somebody trying to make rules in your life about when it comes to the, the constitution of marriage. The Hierophant is out here again. Somebody wants to control who a person marries. It's like if they can't control who you marry, then they don't want you to marry at all. Or this is a person, if it's a lover, if you don't marry them, then they've decided you won't be with anybody. Take care of this. It could be a family member, a lover, whomever. But somebody's like, if you don't marry me, you won't be with anybody. Or if it's a family member, if you don't marry the type of person we want you to marry, then you won't be with anybody. This also could be a family who is withholding money from somebody, like a trust or something. If you don't pick or choose a certain type of spouse, then we won't give you any money. You won't get your inheritance unless you marry a particular person. Restriction. Restriction, eight of swords. Feeling trapped. Somebody is feeling trapped or they want you to feel trapped or to just be paralyzed by fear, unable to go into any kind of relationship. I don't know, this is, like I said, if it's a family member, it's it's about money. If it's a lover, it's about control. Will of Fortune is here. Four of Swords, but it's in the reverse. With the world. Will of Fortune in the world, so. The four of swords is in the reverse. I feel like the worst is over. Somebody keeps on trying to knock you down with the four of swords and the eight of swords. This is like depression. Somebody is hoping that if they get you to feel low enough and depressed, then they can win this battle. The world card is, is achieving something. It's success. It's a completion. 
this person, what they're after, what they're trying to do is they're trying to get you to always live with stress, fear, anxiety, and be in isolation. This is a narcissist. Because what they see with the Page of Swords here is you going into leadership and you having love and you using your creativity to be, I'm sorry, you using your intuition to be creative. And the moon is here in the reverse. The moon in the reverse is secrets coming out. And secrets come out when you release fear and illusions. This person doesn't want you to see who you actually are because they don't want to see you manifest. They don't want you to release your actual divine power as this earth angel divine being. They don't want you to see that you actually have all of the tools and the resources. You have everything that you need within yourself to truly bring in all of this recognition and the rewards that are due to you that you've been working so hard for. This also, too, um, I'm picking up another situation with the Eight of Pentacles. This could be in your job. Somebody, somebody is gatekeeping. They're trying to spiritually blackball you. Yep. Ten of Wands and a Ten of Cups is in the reverse. Somebody wants to put so much baggage and so many burdens onto you so that you feel like you're just beating a dead horse. Why? Because they know you're a star. And you're releasing this pain, which is bringing in generous offers. So somebody sees you healing and you're releasing a lot of pain that they've caused and it's opening you up now to new love and other opportunities, whatever it may be. So what this person is doing is they're trying to have you depressed and having a bunch of fear and anxiety because they see you getting away. Whoever is it, they see that like you've detached. So they're trying to regain control. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Your independent, your independence. You're an independent truth seller, King of Swords. You're independent. You're you're wise. This person sees that your life is structured, is balanced. You have a routine. You're a person standing in your own personal power and you're making head over heart decisions and you're detached from this person who is, look at this, Knight of Wands and the Devil. Arrogant, reckless, overly confident, loud, boastful, prideful. This person could have mental health issues. They're just lashing out. They could be very materialistic. They're codependent. This person is hiding behind a facade. You could have told somebody <laughs> that you don't think that they are who they say they are. They're really mad at you about it. You you um you made this narcissist mad because you ripped their mask off. See, the the hermit card here, you've gone within and learned something about yourself that has taught you something about this person. So what this person is mad about is this whole soul searching journey that you're on that keeps helping you learn about yourself and how toxic your connection to them is. They don't like it because the more you heal and you evolve, the more you detach from them. So they're deciding, well, I'm going to create so much chaos and conflict in your life because they're trying very hard to make you believe that you're wrong and they're right. And this person is also trying very hard to maintain this facade. They want everybody to think that they're the star, that they're they're helpful, they're a healer, they're cool, calm, and collected. When actually, this person here is nothing but a wolf in sheep's clothing. And the way they maintain their truth, which is, we know, actually very false, is by making people see you in a negative light. 
as long as they can spread gossip and slander you and assassinate your character, it, it makes them feel good about themselves. Or if they can get people to believe the lies that they tell them about you, it helps them to look better. This person is obsessed with coming off like some kind of savior or messiah or like I said, the star. So they have to constantly lie about you. But now that your life is your own living proof and testimony of who you really are, the good and the bad, the truth now is coming out about them. So for some of you, instead of you being in isolation and being mad, sad, and depressed because this person is attacking you, you should be like really, really going out shining as bright as possible. Because the more love and light you give off, the worse is going to make them look. Yeah. It's like... You know how people say, like, it's like this, this person, <laughs> they're getting their power from telling lies on you when your truth could easily destroy them and all of their lives. This, this person, they, they're making themselves look very foolish for constantly attacking you. Yep. Because here you are in the Ten of Pentacles. With the Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Knight of Cups. See, you have people coming towards you. Teamwork here. And here's the Three of Cups. You have people coming towards you who want to work with you, collaborate with you. Friends, family members, um, romantic offers, business opportunities. You're going out. You're meeting people. This could be your actual soul family. Um... You could be planning different like celebrations. I don't know if it's birthday parties, holidays are coming up. You could be planning a party, but it's like you're you're connecting with people who really, really love you. They care about you. They they see you for who you truly are. No, no amount of stuff that this person who is attacking you has said about you or to you that could have been affecting you mentally or emotionally, psychologically or whatever before is working because the more you go out in the world and meet people who love you, care for you and really adore you and respect you, the less you care about what this person has been doing to sabotage you or to brainwash you. That's why they don't want you to have a connection with God or to be married because that's agape love that that's like real love this person does not want you to know that god loves you or they don't want a man or a woman to love you because the truth is the more that you receive love the more bright your light is all this person wants this person wants to knock your light out they can't stand it why can't they stand it? Because the Six of Swords is in the reverse. They can't move forward. This person cannot move forward without you. <laughs> They're constantly being delayed and fight facing endings. This person can't produce anything. This could be somebody's mother, the Empress. Wife, mother. This person can't produce, can't produce, and they keep betraying you, bad mouthing you, very bitter. This is the Empress. The Chariot. This person sees you in your divine feminine energy, and you're moving forward. They know you're going towards possibly a partnership. For some of you, parenthood. You're creating a new business. You're nurturing yourself. You're moving forward with victory. And this person is stuck. Missing opportunities. Queen of Swords in the reverse. Queen of Wands.
they're refusing offer, offers, missing opportunities. This could be a man too who just, they can't get over the fact that they lost a divine feminine. They don't want to be with anybody else really. They don't really want to be with anybody else. Because all they can do is daydream and wish that they had not missed out on the opportunity with Divine Feminine. Now with this person, yeah, look, they made a choice that brought a major ending to their security and their stability. Here's the Queen of Cups with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. This right here is what you told somebody. You told somebody. <laughs> you gonna miss me when I'm gone. They thought you were a joke. They thought it was funny. You're happy. Nine of Swords. They're living in misery. And again, this could be a lover, friend, family. You told somebody. You're really gonna, you're really gonna hope, wish, and pray that you had treated me better one day. And this person thought you were a joke. They thought you were funny. They chose other people or situations. The nine of swords is here in the reverse. This person, they cannot see a light at the end of the tunnel. The only light they see at the end of the tunnel is the light that you keep on shining. But the more that light shines, the more it shows them being in the dark, being miserable. So for some of you, going back to the very beginning of the reading where I said, your confirmations. If you are showcasing your life, if you social media influencer, if you're on YouTube, if you're into spirituality, if you're a terror reader, whatever, you're, the things that you're saying is confirming to a person that they really went the wrong way. And they are so upset. This person now is out to destroy you <laughs> because you proved them wrong. They cannot get over the fact that you are who you are. They can't get over the fact that as I want to say like <laughs> this person, they thought that they were so powerful that they became so ruthless in their decision making. And it's right here. The Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords. This person, they refused your offer and they ended up with a real piece of work. A very, very nasty person. But look at who is here. The truth is, you are this caring, kind, nurturing person. They didn't want that. Mm -mm. This could have been the kind of person who told you that you were naive or gullible or they thought that with the Ace of Swords being in the reverse, they felt like you didn't have good ideas. You didn't have the kind of ideas that will bring prosperity because you were not ruthless. You were not willing to be a snake and to hurt people. You actually are a caring, caring, caring kind, nurturing type of individual. So they made a choice to be with this Queen of Swords in the reverse. The, the person they thought had all the ideas, who was, you know, had the smart mouth, a know-it-all, they thought that was the best choice. And it led right to death. Nothing but endings for this person. And what they can't stand is, you walked away and you managed to go through the death, a spiritual transformation. You were great when they met you but now they see you as the greatest of all time. Since they lost you, they want you now to feel restricted like you can never be married because this person is someone who feels like the only person that may be actually worthy of them marrying is you. But they can't be with you. So they want you to think now that you can't be with anybody. Like I said, this could be a lover. But if it's a, a family member or a friend, it's the same thing. It's somebody who kept telling you that you, you weren't going to amount to anything. So whatever they don't have, 
they're constantly trying to project that onto you to make you think that you can't have it either. No, that's not true. And the only reason why they're going so hard at this is because they already know <laughs> that you're next in line to receive everything that they know they've been in the dark trying to block you from having. And it's all about love because the more love, the more light. The more light, the darker they look. See, this person is hiding in the dark. When you come around, boom, the light, it, it, it shows them over in the corner in the dark. Strength, 10 of cups. You have a very strong marriage, partnership, commitment, family that's coming, nine of pentacles. Because you're self-sufficient and abundant, the tower, blessings just coming at you tenfold, nine of cups. New love. This, somebody here really, really wanted you to believe that you could never be in love. You would never have a family. You would never be married. The devil is a liar. This person here is heartbroken. They're depressed and they sit around doing magic on you constantly or trying to manipulate you so that you won't actually take action. Anything else? <laughs> You're moving on. You're free. This person juggled you. Nine of Cups, out of greed. Now they stalk you constantly. Because the truth is, they know you're the divine feminine. And they know that they walked away from you to be with the Queen of Wands. And they're very much disappointed and in regret because they know that they will forever be stuck where they are. So they send a bunch of negative energy and illusions towards you each time they see you celebrating. Because you put your boundaries up with this person. You're not trapped. You're not restricted. Don't let this person back you into any kind of corners. You're very knowledgeable. You should be emotionally intelligent now. You should be able to motivate yourself. And you can be emotional, but have control. You're not naive. You're not gullible. So anything that this person is projecting onto you, it's a bunch of illusions. Seven of Cups. Because they want to hold on to you because they can't move forward. So you're going to have to be, have the strength to free yourself from whatever this situation is or this person. Whether it's a friend, family member, or an ex-lover. For some of you, all these people are battling you spiritually because you're moving forward because without you they don't have anything to talk about anything to do no ideas and no clarity 